Well, she was once charged with masterminding a plot to kill East Timor's two most powerful leaders, but more than a decade on, Australian citizen Angelita Pires says former President Jose Ramos Horta has apologised for accusing her of trying to have him killed. She spoke exclusively to Matt Cunningham in Dili. For a time, she was East Timor's public enemy number one. Dubbed the ultimate femme fatale, Australian citizen Angelita Pires was charged with masterminding an attempt by rebel soldiers to assassinate Timor's two most revered leaders, Prime Minister Janana Guzmao and President Jose Ramos Horta. It was very draining. Um, you know, the pressure, you can imagine, you have the UN, you have the whole, the UN was here, you have, you, this, you're stigmatised, your life is turned upside down, you lose your job, your properties, everything, and your freedom. Pires was the legal advisor turned lover of Alfredo Renato, a former major in the Timorese military. Renato deserted the military in 2006, taking 600 rebel soldiers with him before his life came to a bloody end two years later. It was just before dawn on the 11th of February 2008 that Alfredo Renato and his men came down from these hills. They disarmed security guards and entered Jose Ramos Horta's private compound. It was there that Renato was shot dead. Jose Ramos Horta had been out for his morning walk. He came walking up this road and it was here that he suffered the gunshot wounds that almost ended his life. Ramos Horta survived the attack and soon went public, accusing Perez of orchestrating an assassination attempt. So you had absolutely nothing to do with... That's so ridiculous. Any plot? No. <laughs> I mean, a plot for what? Perez faced a seven-month trial and subsequent appeal, but was acquitted on each occasion. She says Renato had been invited to a meeting with Ramos Horta, a claim supported by evidence presented at her trial. The president at the time was José Ramos Horta and the Prime Minister was Shannon Guzman. They had picked a team to liaise with Alfredo. So I don't know what they meant by mid-February, but the invitation certainly was there that they were going to meet. More than a decade on, Pires says she and Ramos Horta have resolved their differences. I think he was ill-informed first, and I think he was totally traumatised. Has he apologised? Yes, he has, and I have too. And we've, we've personally cried together, and... It takes a lot to heal. I think that recognition, it's not so much justice, but it's recognising. You know, making that acknowledgement. But evidence presented at Pires' trial raised many more questions than it provided answers. Was this an assassination plot, an attempted coup, or just a meeting that went horribly wrong? She was not ready for a lot of things yet, you know? I don't know if it'll ever be ready. Do re people really want to know the truth? I don't think so. Matt Cunningham, Sky News.